Those clearings are where you can actually see that the phages, the viruses, have basically consumed the bacteria. These Winnipeg scientists have developed a cocktail of viruses that kills E. coli and salmonella in chickens. And this is the way that we can tell how, how strong the bacteria phage is against the bacteria. They believe their product could also be adapted to treat people who have infections caused by drug-resistant superbugs. They already do a job and that job is killing bacteria on our body. Phages are viruses that only infect bacteria. They work by binding themselves to a cell, injecting their genetic information inside, creating more of themselves until they burst out looking for more hosts to kill. It's very uh, keyed into actually killing bacterial infections only. Doesn't infect human cells, doesn't infect animal cells, and you probably have about 100 trillion of them all over you right now. Stephen Terrio's research found the survival rate of chickens infected with E. coli and then given farm phage was 92 percent, compared to 8 percent of untreated birds. Our birds are healthier, so when they had a, a flu come through the actual barns, our, our chickens actually survived a lot more better or a lot better than the actual barn that was the control barn. If the bacteriophage can replace antibiotics in chickens, Terrio believes they are an answer to antibiotic resistance in humans too. The World Health Organization says it's a global threat associated with millions of deaths every year. According to the WHO, antimicrobial resistant diseases will increase at least 300 fold by 2050. They're going to be dying in the hospitals because there's no treatments. We can actually treat those diseases by using a virus. Any new therapeutic product has to be authorized for use in animals and humans. Farm phage has been approved in Bangladesh and it's currently going through the process in the U.S. Industry groups are lobbying for changes to Canada's regulatory system so bacteriophages can be submitted for approval here too. Karen Pauls, CBC News, Winnipeg.